Hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen. And uh, we're trying something different and new, which I'll get to at some point. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do a haul uh, because I haven't done one in a while. Uh, this one is just Costco, but I do want to talk about two things before I got to the haul. And it's not really a, like a big haul, it's a little haul. Uh, but I want to talk about a couple things. First of all, I am so happy now that the CDC has changed their guidelines and fully vaccinated people can uh, walk around without a mask. Um, I have to say it's kind of weird to me anyway to see people's faces again. I mean, I love it. I think it's wonderful to see people's faces again, to see them from here down instead of here up. All right. As an employee at ShopRite, uh, it's really good to be able to talk to customers again and be able to tell what they're saying, um, which is a wonderful thing. But it does feel very weird walking into stores without a mask. I don't know. I'm so used to it that it kind of feels weird. I mean, it's wonderful, but it's weird. And uh, <laughs> I also don't know how many people I can trust who are walking around without masks, how many of those people are lying and they haven't been fully vaccinated? I mean, not that it can hurt me that much, but it still bothers me that there could be people lying. Um, but I am very happy to be walking around without a mask and to be able to do so. So I thank the CDC for that. Um, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Another thing was, um, I wanted to let everybody know that if you are driving through the Warren County area of New Jersey, there is a new small business that needs our loving. It's called Beansies. It is a coffee shop. It is a, a small business owned by a woman or a woman and her son. I don't know. Uh, three people in the store today when I went in. Um, and I assume that one of them is the owner or they're all three the owners. I don't know. I didn't get their names either. I guess I should have asked. Um, anyway, they have this adorable coffee shop. It's a nice size place. They don't just have coffee. They also have smoothies. They also have milkshakes. They have bubble tea, which I find very interesting. I've only had bubble tea once and I loved it. Um, and uh, they do have some food. I didn't really get a chance to really look. Um, and it's very sparsely decorated at the moment. And supposedly they will be having some nighttime entertainment, which in our area, there's nothing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so if you are in the Warren County area of New Jersey, please stop in on Route 57 to Beansies because they can use all of our support as uh, lovers of small businesses. All right, now getting to our haul. Okay, we went to Costco. I spent $113.25. All right, um, I've noticed that a lot of people with haul, do, doing hauls mention how much they've spent. So I thought I would mention how much I spent um, and, um, I have to show, now, you know, usually, you know me, I get the rotisserie chicken, I get the dozen croissants, the six box, okay, um, those are the usual things, all right, but we have a couple of things, a couple of new items have come back that I thought I would mention. One is the Sonoma Gourmet Kale Pesto with White Cheddar. I love this stuff. It um, makes really good macaroni and cheese in a quick moment. Or just in general on pasta, it's delicious. I love this. Uh, it is a two-pack a two pack for $11.99, which is not awfully cheap. It's $6 a jar, but it is made in America. Also, another smallish company, Sonoma Gourmet, out of California, and I love their stuff. Um, also, the roasted chili lime chicken breast, it's not always there. It's wonderful on the grill. It's also wonderful on a grill pan. It's great in the air fryer. 
and I love it because I can get two meals out of it for everybody here um, and for fifteen dollars it's uh, five dollars a pound and this is three pounds so that's not bad at all all right that's three dollars a pound that's three dollars all right three dollars per um, what is that no it's 50 cents a serving or something no I you know me and math suck but <laughs> anyway I wanted to show you that came back and then something came back that I'm so super excited about I, you know me and dried mushrooms all right you know I've been the only place I could find them was World Market, and then World Market closed over here. And I know that they're online. I can get things online. But eight, this is 12 ounces, 12 ounces, all right? Usually at supermarkets, you can only get one ounce packages for like $5, and it's only one kind of mushroom. There's four kinds of mushrooms sourced in Europe, Eastern European countries, and uh, South America, and it's not from China, and it's not from Asia, um, and it's packaged in France. Um, and I am so happy to see this. I, I, I was jumping for joy. I was walking through the uh, I was walking through the main aisle, about to turn, looking for Primal Kitchen, which I never found. Um, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw the shape of this container, and I went no. Nah can't be can't be but yeah it can be oh my gosh I'm so happy oh I, I, I was so happy um, and that was twelve dollars so it's a dollar an ounce fabulous that'll last like a year I'm just afraid that they're gonna get rid of it again I mean quickly it's been like ten years since I've been able, been able to find something like this and I think the last time it was eight ounces so this is a great deal <coughs> okay also I've been wanting to buy this for at least a year and I never did it disappeared for a while um, wolf family burnt ends we are having barbecue tonight people barbecue beef I'm so excited all right if anybody's tried this wolf family let me know in the comments below um, I've been very excited to try this because I love myself a good barbecue Trevor likes a good barbecue uh, and uh, so for um, it's like eleven dollars a pound and it's like one and two thirds pounds so they say three ounces is a serving size I don't know how much that is I'll weigh it out and we'll see but anyway very excited about that and I got some potato salad to go with it all right this is the uh, de amore loaded baked potato salad made with sour cream bacon cheddar cheese and scallion I'm looking forward to trying it. All right, it's um, okay. The burnt ends are nineteen dollars and fifty-six cents. The potato salad is seven dollars, but it is four pounds of potato salad. <laughs> That's gonna last us a while in this house. Um, all right. Also, we always get, we get this every once in a while. The Adams Premium Cheeses, Pro, Premium Provolone Cheese. It was recommended to us by one of Steve's friends. Uh, for years, he buys his provolone there. And you get, um, what is it, two pounds of it. Okay. So that's pretty good. You get two pounds for $8. So that's $4 a pound for provolone, sliced cheese, and it freezes beautifully. All right. Now, I know that they've been selling 4C seasoned plain bread crumbs for years, but I never saw that they had panko. And I saw panko today. I love panko. Panko makes everything so crunchy and delicious. Okay? So these are two 25-ounce containers. That's a pound, 9-ounce containers. All right? So that's over 3 pounds of panko crumbs for $7. Okay? Okay? And then, um, oh, the last thing that we got aside from the rotisserie chicken, which is our norm, is the dog's Top Chews Naturals Dog Treats, this chicken jerky. Now, Steve said that they changed their, um, the uh, recipe or something. They changed these a couple months ago, and at first the dogs did not like them, but now the dogs do. 
um, and it's all sourced in the U.S. No antibiotic, no antibiotics, and uh, it's sourced in the U.S. and it's made with chicken uh, that is um, raised ethically. So that's good. Um, and uh, the chicken jerky is twenty bucks, but you get four. But you get four. You get uh, what is it? Fourteen? Forty-eight? Yeah, I, I think it's like three pounds of it for that price. As I said, I'm not good in math. Never was, never will be. Um, anyway, so we spent $113.25 with tax. And we got, I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but it really is a lot because you got two packages of chicken. And that's two meals right there. This, chi this cheese lasts us like a month and a half, two months between sandwiches and chicken parmesan and whatever um so it lasts us a while this will last us for two meals this will last me probably a year worth every penny so if you're a, if a, you're a uh, umami freak like i am go and get yourself some dried mushrooms all right anyway i think that's it i think that's it um anyway um, so if you have tried any of these things, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, like, click, like, uh, subscribe, press that little bell for, uh, upcoming notifications of videos. And, uh, we'll see you again soon at Reese's Cluttered Kitchen. Bye.